What's up fam? This is your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to share this video. I got some news for you niggas today. Young Dolph Killers, JoJo Splat, and Stray Drop Fingerprints has allegedly been found on a getaway car, which is the white Mercedes Benz. Now this is breaking news, but this doesn't surprise me at all. I knew these guys was going to leave some type of evidence in that vehicle. And like I always told you guys, the key to solving Young Dolph murder is finding out who's the owner of that white Mercedes Benz. Who used to occupy that vehicle? Where exactly does that vehicle come from? Because let's be honest, the getaway car in Young Dolph murder was a 2013 white Mercedes Benz. Those are not very common vehicles in the hood. Those are not the Grand Marquis, the Crown Victorios, Victorias, those are common vehicles in the hood. A 2013 white Mercedes two-door coupe is not very common around where I'm from. So when I seen that I can tie CEO Bobby to that white Mercedes Benz, I knew I had the group of guys that might have been responsible for the murder of Young Dolph. Look at CEO Bobby and his Benz. White two-door Benz, very beautiful car, very distinctive, not very common. Not many two-door coupes are being used in murders. Let's just say that. So when I seen I can tie him to the murder, and then he had ties to JoJo Splat, he had ties to Straight Drop, they all on Instagram, dissing Young Dolph, posing with his pre-chains, posing with the same type of murder weapon that was used to take out Young Dolph, circumstantial evidence. That's all I'm saying. But since it's all out there, I'ma go ahead and say it. I knew that it was gonna leave some evidence in the car. I'ma tell you the moment I knew they was gonna find some evidence in that car. Y'all remember when they abandoned the car? It was found at that house. It was a video floating around the internet. They were putting the car on a tow truck and the car was super clean. Not a scratch on it, not a speck of dirt on it. I'm like, these fools done washed the car. These fools done got together and say, yo man, we done murdered somebody. We gotta get rid of this car, but let's wipe it down first. Let's get a bottom of awesome. Let's get some Lysol wipes. We gonna wipe the inside and we gonna abandon the car. I said, these fools really think that's going to get rid of DNA. Now, I don't mean to make this sound like how to get away with murder, but everybody knows the quickest way to get rid of DNA is fire. If you're going to use a vehicle to do any type of crime, you got to set fire to it. Just wiping it down, just washing, is not going to get the job done. And I think that's what these fools did. But let's take a look at this video of the white Mercedes Benz and pay close attention to how clean and shiny the getaway car is. I mean, it like it just came out the showroom floor. But let's take a look at this video. Look at that white Mercedes Benz being, being towed away. Shiny, clean, glistening, look like it just been wiped down. So it tells me two things about these guys. It tell me that these guys at least tried to cover their tracks. They tried to take DNA evidence away. They at least tried to wipe it down. Maybe took it to a car wash, got some Lysol wipes, a bottom of awesome, and tried to wipe down the inside of the car to take DNA evidence. And two, it tells me that these guys are not that smart. These guys are not that bright. Wiping the car with Lysol wipes, taking it to the car wash is not gonna get rid of DNA evidence. Anywhere you sit, anywhere you talk in, you're leaving behind DNA evidence. DNA evidence identifies you. So just wiping it down with hot water and soap is not gonna get rid of that evidence. But if you heard these guys talk, then that type of behavior shouldn't surprise you at all. These guys are not the smartest criminals. These guys are not rocket scientists. Matter of fact, the same house that that car was just towed away from is the same house that Straight Drop used to drop multiple music videos at. The moment that car was found at that house is the moment he deleted all his music videos. Can't find them. Every video that was shot in front of that house is gone. It's off the internet. Like for example, this video. That is Straight Drop standing, rapping in front of the same house where the getaway car was found. Look at it. So it tells me one thing. It tells me he used to occupy that house and it tells me he may know somebody that still occupies that house. Why was the getaway car dropped at this location? So let me get this straight. In this case, you can tie the car to CEO Bobby, you can tie the house to straight drop, and you can tie the murder weapon to JoJo Splat. This case is over with. Young Dog case has been solved. I think these guys are the guilty parties. All the evidence points to them. If it looks like a duck, Crack like a duck, it ain't a damn mongoose. Follow the facts, follow your leads, and they'll point you right to the killers. Everybody keep being in the now. It may be them, it may not. They get on Instagram bragging, dissing Dolph, wearing the pre-chains. They've never liked Dolph. They always dissed them. You can find videos from three years ago of these same group of guys dissing young Dolph. 
Then all of a sudden your dog come up dead and all the evidence points to you, you're damn right I'm running with it. I ain't optimistic as y'all. I'm not. I think these are the guys that we need to zone in on. Nobody else. But anyway, guys, this is your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Do you think these guys are guilty or do you think these guys are innocent? Let me know. I love you guys. Peace.